Now, illegal logging has cost Indonesia billions of dollars in lost revenue. Although authorities have taken measures to crack down on the practice in recent years, more needs to be done. One local company is doing just that, offering alternative livelihoods for those living near protected forests. Chani Bambari reports. Ali Anur was an illegal logger. The 36-year-old father of one used to cut down trees inside a protected area in central Kalimantan on Borneo Island. Mr. Ali Anur, or Ian as he is called by friends, had been caught at least six times by the local police for illegal logging. Each time he was arrested, he said he would bribe the police to avoid a three-month jail sentence. But in 2018, Mr. Ali Anur decided to turn his life around with the help of a local company. Sekitar 120 ribu satu hari. Kalau illegal logging ini nggak bisa. Sekitar 80 ribu aja satu hari. Besar modalnya bu. Minyak, modal makannya besar. Belum lagi ditangkap polisi, bayar lagi saya. Kalau dalam tangkap polisi, saya bayar 500 ribu satu kubik. Mr. Ali Anur and many other former illegal loggers have been trained to harvest coconut nectar to make sugar by Rimba Makmurutama. The company manages and conserves peat swamp forests more than twice the size of Singapore. It's part of a UN-backed project called Red Plus a climate financing scheme for developing countries to encourage them to leave their forests intact and to reward them with carbon credit payments in return for saving forests. Kita mau meminta mereka untuk berhenti mengambil kayu di hutan itu kan merusak alam ya. Uh, tapi kita harus memberikan opsi ke mereka. Kalau mereka berhenti dari pekerjaan itu, kira-kira mereka harus kerja apa? Dan kita bisa menawarkan bahwa jika Anda mau berhenti, kita bisa ngajaran bagaimana cara membuat gula kelapa. Itu cuma salah satu ya. Kita masih mikirin juga cara-cara yang lain bagaimana supaya mereka bisa punya penghasilan lebih banyak. Although many former illegal loggers own coconut plantations, falling income had forced them to cut down trees from protected forests and slice them into planks for sale. Rimba Makmurutama teaches them to earn extra money from making coconut sugar, in addition to selling coconuts and copra. A natural sweetener, coconut sugar is consumed in Indonesia in traditional dishes, cakes and local desserts. But gathering nectar to make the sugar is a tough job. Farmers must climb coconut trees like this one and collect sap from its flower blossom. The nectar is then boiled for three to five hours until the mixture is ready to either be put into a mold or processed into granulated sugar. But the farmers say that all the hard work pays off. Coconut sugar ensures sustainable income. Farmers can directly sell the sugar to local markets or to the local cooperative, which turns it into traditional products. More than 70 villagers living around the concession area have taken part in the training so far, and they own their own coconut plantations. I think the alternative livelihoods, and particularly those who are uh, aligned with sustainable use of tropical peatlands, are, it, it is a critical part. And it can be in different shapes. Like I think here you have an example of basically using coconuts to, coconuts to produce coconut sugar for, industrial, for a large-scale industrial producer, which is, I think is a major step forward because it provides opportunity in terms of volume, in terms of markets, which are not, where they're not accessible to farmers before. The farmers could soon be reaping bigger rewards. Efforts are underway to diversify the produce. Farmers are now being trained to grow vanilla around their coconut trees like this. They're also being advised to grow cashew in degraded areas. And next year, they will be trained to grow bamboo, which can be used to make furniture. Ian tells me many illegal loggers he knows have followed in his footsteps after seeing him as an example. And it is initiatives like these which may just be part of the solution in Indonesia's efforts to tackle its illegal timber trade. Chani Vatvani, CNA, Central Kalimantan.